Hey y'all, it's Andrea with Sucks For You in Houston, Texas, and here is a video on a seedling progress, some updates for y'all, and I um, just started these desert rows, a denium obesum, back in March, and um, it took a little, it took about a week to germinate, but then once they started growing, man, they just, they just started popping up, and um, as you can see, there's a little short dude in there, and it turns out that is not an adenium, that is a dorstenia that had the seed was shot out of a nearby flower pod might have like maybe up to three feet away from this pot but it's doing great i know a lot of you have already seen this aloe maculata before but i love it so much i can never show it off enough and um it's actually one of the first succulents from seed that i ever tried growing and um i wasn't sure it was going to work but it did and i'm just really proud of the progress on these guys um again over three years growth on um once you once we get to the end you'll see and there's even you can see in this one they're starting to pop on their own so these baby seedlings are already making their own babies and it's just so exciting and um the best part i just saw the other day is that i think that one of this is a pop from one of them and it looks variegated. It looks like there's going to be some variegation in it. So, you know, we'll have to see. I'll let you guys know. But from here, it looks like it. I didn't write down what these were when I started them. And it took me a while. I thought maybe they were lithops or I wasn't really sure. But sure enough, um, they started showing their true colors and their little hairs. And um, now I have a pot of Anacamp Saros, um doing really well. This is them at a year old. And they were really easy to grow. These are the Dioscoria that I started uh, back in February of last year and um, took them a while to get going. I wasn't sure if they were going to grow, but uh, once they did start growing again, they just started putting out new leaves and the leaves were getting bigger every day and I um, was having so much fun with them. And then come like January or so of this past year or this year, um, all the leaves started drying up every like there, there was no sign of life. I was like, please just be dormant. Please just be dormant. But uh, sure enough, they started growing new leaves again a few months ago. So, um, and I think all of them are putting out new leaves. So yay. This epiphyllum took about two weeks to germinate and I really didn't think it was going to work. But sure enough, once it started growing, it was just like super plant, super man. It just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger and uh, literally every day and now it's putting out its own paddles and um, yeah, it's just, look at this, it's just doing so well. Uh, again, a year old started last July and uh, I love it. I wasn't sure that I would have very much luck with the Falcarias uh, from seed because I've found the adults to be a little bit you know, picky, sensitive to overwatering, all that fun stuff. But sure enough, these have turned out to be some of the most fun succulents that I've grown from seed. And just watching them grow, watching their colors and details come in, uh, are just it's, it's so rewarding. Definitely one of the most rewarding succulents you can grow from seed. And look at that. One of them even flowered for me. It wasn't even a year old. Um, it just really made my day. And that flower lasted like you know, a few days at least, so I got to enjoy it for a while. I just stuck that Titanopsis in there because it seemed lonely in a pot by itself, and they've been getting along really well together too. Very similar care needs for both of both of these types. Here's a Haworthia limifolia. Believe it or not, I got her from Ikea like five years ago, and this is the first year she's ever set seed for me. And so, of course, I was like, I'm going to try it. I don't know if it's going to work. And uh, sure enough, these little weirdos are really starting to put on a lot of details. You can see they're, uh, they're, they have little ridges, they're tough little dudes, and um, just super cute. This is a mix of cactus seeds, burial cactus seeds from my friend Kathy, and um, they just they started growing and they wouldn't stop. And now I have so many, I don't know what to do with them. This is one of several pots <laughs> that I have and uh, they're super cute, super sharp and uh, they got a long ways to go but they're adorable. So here's a life ops update. You can see I started some last year back in February and some a few months later in July 
and um, you know there are different sizes, uh, different stages. The bigger ones are older, and some of them are, have already started to split on their own and already put out a brand new plant, even for being so young. And I I really like the seedlings because they for some reason they're less picky about getting overwatered than the adults are, and uh, just really easy going for a life ops. Well, that's it. Be sure to check out the succulent manual if you haven't got it yet. Um, it's like 10 bucks, teaches you all the different ways to propagate, how to adjust your care techniques and growing techniques to your climate and location. Um, you know, all about light, watering soil, every question that you will probably have in the first couple of years as a succulent keeper is in this book. Thanks for watching, guys.